communication society, a keyboard, but what is hidden behind it? There are many ways of communication in times of the mobiles and internet, visual and audible messages stream towards us as soon as we enter the society and step out to make contact. Without communication, no community, and our number one means of communication is a spoken language. Whoever cannot hear is challenged. Hardness of hearing affects many. Almost one-third of the 60-year-olds and about 50% of the 70-year-olds suffer from hearing loss. At the same time, an increasing number of younger people are affected. The ability to register directions and tone pitch is limited. Communication causes stress, and from stress comes overstrain. Ulrike. Jan Ferdinand. A hearing loss of the interior ear leads to a change in the perception of loudness and also often to a hypersensitivity to loud acoustic signals. Bersenbrück. But loud is not the same as more articulate. A very typical situation for the hard of hearing. Soft tones are overheard, loud ones scratch on the nerves. Hello, Mattes. The ability of healthy hearing to filter direction and frequency information is disturbed with an unsound ear. One of the most difficult hearing situations for the hard of hearing is to filter out the conversational partner when many different voices and sounds fill the room. Socializing becomes exhausting and even a burden. Isolation can become the consequence, especially outgoing people suffer under this situation. The road from the beginning of a hearing loss until the fitting of a hearing aid is often a long one. The acceptance of hearing aids increases, even though the average is eight years until the fitting of a hearing aid. When what we take for granted suddenly does not work anymore, our life can become confused and the simplest daily situations lead to chaos when we can no longer perceive acoustic signals. The ability to understand speech is limited as well. Especially high frequencies are not heard and the language sounds muffled. The distance between soft and loud has changed and is often frequency dependent. Simply making it louder is not a solution. Within the European project Hearing at Home, we developed together with our partners from Germany, the Netherlands, Sweden and Spain a vision and work towards its realization. For one, we develop a possibility for the heart of hearing to adapt on their own uh, audio broadcast to the individual frequency and level dependent needs. With the help of a simple interactive system, the heart of hearing can, for example, adjust the television sound to their hearing and dynamic loss without any audiological and technological knowledge. A headset reduces the influence of disturbing surrounding noises. Ulrike. Furthermore, we would like to alleviate the daily life with the help of a sophisticated system with which we interconnect existing daily routines. Alerts and signals from, for example, household devices are prepared with a special audio processing developed for the hard of hearing, connected to visual signals and forwarded to the earphone of a headset. Likewise, the voices of other people in the room are forwarded to the system with the microphone of the headset and the heart of hearing are again supported in this situation by the processing of the system. A communication management system arranges that the correct sources are heard through the earphone and that the heart of hearing does not lose out in sociable situations. Telecommunication applications are networked in our system as well. Supported by the audio processing of the system, one can also telephone with the headset.
Nee, nee die ist im Urlaub. Nee, nee. Anna ist leider nicht da. And then we also have Synthase, a development of our Swedish project partners. Synthase is a synthetic face which mimics lip movements according to the transferred language and therefore assists especially the profoundly hard of hearing and reading lips in cases when the speaker is not in the picture or turned away. And why the presentation by television? Well, we believe simply that this device has its place in the center of the home for generations and also in the future.